uh, Masa Amini. Uh, I assume that's what you're talking about. Could you tell us what that event was and why it was significant? Masa Amini was... I might get some of the personal information on her wrong, because it's been a long time and so many more have died since her. But she was a Kurdish girl who I think lived in Tehran. She was going for sort of holiday to north of Iran. It's the usual spot for especially Tehranians to go during holidays to just like chill and it's close to the uh, uh, I think it's I don't know what you call it but it's Khazar Sea for us. She was going north for holidays and she was interrupted uh, by the morality police because I think inside her car or maybe she had got out but she wasn't wearing the full hijab the the chador um, not all of her hair was covered basically mm -hmm. and she was arrested and beaten on the spot as I believe she tried to not get arrested she tried to struggle she was beaten with batons and her brother I think uh, managed to catch it all on video shortly after she was again tortured and beaten in the prison and shortly after she died the video got out and people were enraged and it started the whole revolution and now we call it it was a uh, protest in the in uh, in for uh, at first but mm -hmm. it is now a revolution, as we call it ourselves. This started the whole movement of uh, woman life freedom and everything that came after. Just her getting caught on a film, being beaten by the police. Which is, a, as I said, a re it was a reoccurring theme in Iran. But that, this time it caught some attention. 